Almost 10,000 Russian soldiers expressed their willingness to surrender. 9,836 people from Russia and temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine have already turned to the Ukrainian national initiative called Hoshu Zit, I Want to Live, stating their intention to surrender. Coordination Headquarters for the Treatment of Prisoners of War announced it. Over six months of the project functioning, more than 14 million people visited the website of the Hoshu Zit initiative, despite regular attempt of Roskomnadzor to block access. Roskomnadzor is the Russian federal executive agency responsible for monitoring, controlling and censoring Russian mass media. 84% of those who searched the website were from the Russian Federation. Apart from Russian soldiers themselves, their family members and close people call a hotline. Conscripted Russians who have come to Ukraine often do not have any access to the internet or cellular data. The website of the Ukrainian state project, Hoshu Zit, where Russian servicemen are offered an opportunity to surrender to the armed forces of Ukraine, was blocked on the territory of Russia.